The A320 electrical system is quite similar to electrical systems which you are familiar with. It is simply more automatic and easier to use. There are two engine-driven generators. The generators maintain a constant speed by a drive mechanism known as an integrated drive generator, IDG. Each generator supplies alternating current, AC, to its own bus. Generator 1 to AC bus 1. Generator 2 to AC bus 2. Each AC bus supplies its own transformer rectifier, TR. AC bus 1 to TR1. AC bus 2 to TR2. The TRs convert alternating current, AC into direct current, DC, to supply their related DC buses, DC1 and DC2. DC bus 1 feeds the DC battery bus, DC bat. The DC bat bus can charge the batteries or receive power from the batteries as required. This will be further explained in the operation module. The electrical system also includes two essential buses, the AC essential bus normally fed by AC bus 1. Note, if the AC bus 1 is lost, the AC bus 2 automatically takes over. The DC essential bus fed by DC bus 1 via DC bat bus. This is the basic electrical system. We will now introduce some other components which supply the basic system. The electrical network can also be supplied by the APU generator. These three generators are all identical and any one of them can supply the entire aircraft electrical needs. For that, a bus tie contactor, BTC logic, allows the AC buses to be supplied from only one engine generator or only the APU generator or an engine generator and the APU generator or both engine generators. On the ground, the AC buses can be supplied by an external power source through the BTC logic. Note. If the APU generator and the external power are connected together to the AC buses, the external power has priority over the APU generator. As a backup, there is a hydraulically driven emergency electrical generator, Emergen. The hydraulic power to drive the emergency generator is provided by a ram air turbine, RAT, located in the belly fairing, which extends in case of severe electrical or hydraulic failures. The electrical system also has an essential transformer rectifier, essential TR. The essential TR can power the DC essential bus. From the emergency generator, in case of severe electrical failure or from the AC essential bus in case of a TR1 or a TR2 failure. Note, in this case, the DC bus 1 or 2 is transferred to the DC bus 2 or 1 via the DC bat bus. Finally, a static inverter allows part of the AC electrical network to be supplied from the battery 1 when only batteries are connected. On ground, it supplies an AC static inverter bus and the battery 2 will supply partially the DC essential bus. In flight, it supplies also partially the AC essential bus and the battery 2 partially the DC essential bus. But the DC bat bus is not supplied. Now, let's see how this information is presented to the pilots in the cockpit. 
We will introduce the eCam electrical page. You can see that most of the components we have talked about are displayed on the eCam page. Note. The static inverter indication will replace the external power indication only during its test and provided the essential buses are supplied by the batteries. As shown, each component can be monitored via its indications. These indications are Voltage Current or load for the generators Frequency and IDG temperature You can also notice the different connections displayed via green lines. Let's now locate pilot's controls. The ALEC panel is located on the overhead panel. Note. The controls installed on the left-hand side will depend on the options. So, refer to your documentation. For emergency cases, there is an emergency electrical power panel on the left side of the overhead panel. Now let's look at the relationship between the electrical panel and the ECAM electrical page. The battery voltage can be monitored either on the overhead panel or on the ECAM page. Each battery is controlled by a push button switch. Both main generators and the APU generator are controlled by their associated push button switch. The external power is also controlled by a push button. The AC Essential Feed push button switch enables the pilots to change the supply to the AC Essential bus from AC bus 1 to AC bus 2. The bus tie push button switch enables the pilots to isolate one side of the system from the other. In case of failure, these push buttons enable you to disconnect an IDG from its drive shaft. The controls and indications on the emergency electrical power panel will be covered in the failure cases module. Except for the emergency generator test switch. It is used by maintenance only to test the emergency generator and the static inverter.